to my channel. I am here to present you with a quick review of the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. Now, this review is hella behind schedule, but I'm doing a ton of pre-filming because as you guys know, month of August, my parents are gonna be in town for the whole month. And so I'm trying to pre-film so you guys don't miss out on any content. Most likely you still will, but if you follow me on Instagram, you might catch us on there just doing some fun family stuff. Anyway, I don't want to delay this any longer, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about BH Cosmetics. I have bought quite a few things from them. This was one of those brands that I had heard about, you know, many, many times. It's probably one of the first you know, non-drugstore brands I heard of makeup-wise because I remember in college so many girls having those like ginormous palettes and I feel like most of them were probably like BH Cosmetics or Coastal Sense or, you know, one of those brands. Like vaguely remember the brand. I kind of ignored them for a long time because I felt like their quality wasn't the greatest and so I avoided them. And then sometime last year, It's My Rare launched a palette with BH Cosmetics and I decided to buy it and then I wanted free shipping so I threw in the Zodiac palette as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So I bought those two palettes and I love the It's My Rare Rare palette. I should have a review. I will link my reviews if I have any on particular BH Cosmetics palettes. I also have a BH Cosmetics playlist. So if you guys ever get curious about a brand or some you know series that I do on my channel I am the queen of playlists you guys I try to click create so many playlists just so it makes it easier for you guys to watch my channel and I will always link any relevant playlist at the end of the video as well so definitely watch my BH cosmetics playlist if you're interested in that so anyway loved those two palettes and then what did they come out with next? I think they came out with this one. So I was like hella excited for this because I was like, oh my gosh, like I haven't seen a palette like this with this many colors in a long time. Then like summer 2018 happened and all the color just like exploded everywhere. But I still feel like this palette was like a pioneer of its time. So I bought this one. Then I bought the Aurora Lights one. I also bought Take Me Back to Brazil. That one I still need to review for you guys. So let me know in the comments. Which one of those two you want to see next always helps me out when you guys let me know what you want me to review for you guys. So yeah, I've had really, really good luck with BH Cosmetics. They are an affordable brand in my opinion and if you want it even cheaper, they always go on sale. So you know, keep that in mind. Keep an eye on the site. You can usually get these palettes for a good deal. This palette right now is on buy one get one half off on Ulta.com because BH Cosmetics is being sold at Ulta as well. Plus, if you have your Ulta points or an Ulta coupon, I mean, you can basically get this for free. So, something to keep in mind in case you are looking to shop. Now, I did see this palette was still available on Ulta.com. I was not able to find it on BH Cosmetics website, so I don't know if they've stopped selling it there or maybe they're out of stock. I didn't, I didn't see it on there, so you might just have to pick this up quick because I don't know if this is limited edition or not. As far as what they've been up to lately, like I said, they have not slowed down. It's like they've come to this like revival in their brand. So after this one, they came out with unicorn theme palette. Then they came out with like a neutrals palette. Uh, they did the Aurora Lights palette. They've done this like dual chrome highlighter palette. And then their latest one is called Desert Oasis, which is like a $22 palette. It looks like it's a great dupe for the sweet, semi-sweet palette by Too Faced in case any of you guys are interested. I haven't purchased anything other than the Aurora Lights. I'm trying to like slow it down because I have way too many eyeshadow palettes so I'm not going to be buying that. But let me know if you've made any of those newer palette purchases. I'd be curious to hear what you think. As far as Ulta, this is on Ulta for $18. Now a little bit about the palette, it is made in the People's Republic of China in case any of you care. I do like this packaging, I think it's very cute especially because like it came out around like festival season and I love like the ombre and the sunset and it's just really cute. I think they did a good job. I mean 
I've seen some palettes where the packaging is a real miss. I also really like sleeves as opposed to boxes. I never save a box of a package, but I can see myself maybe saving a sleeve just, you know, to keep the palette together. So just something to keep in mind. And it's easier to get palettes out of sleeves than boxes. So that's my two cents on that. As far as amount of product, there is 0.77 ounces of product. That's 22 grams in the palette. There are 20 shades. I feel like there's some shimmers, but overall I feel like there's 12 shimmer shades and 8 mattes. And they did some neutrals as well as some really fun pops of color. I feel like this is going to cater to a lot of different skin tones. You know, this dark shade can be used to smoke out the outer corner. Otherwise, you can also use it as a transition shade, depending on how dark you are. If you're lighter, you might need to still reach for another palette, but I mean, that's really not going to kill you, especially when you're paying like 18 bucks for this palette and you're getting some really, really, really freaking beautiful shades. As far as the shelf life, it is a 24-month shelf life, which I am excited about. I like it when my palettes have long, lengthy shelf lives, so I don't have to like freak out about it. And then as far as application and wear time, I don't want to say like you're getting what you paid for. I feel like these definitely do a good job. I think the mattes blend really well. I'm really partial to bright pink shades like this in my crease, so I really like the shade Dippy. I like the shade Palooza. I really like the shade Solstice on my lid. So I have a lot of fun with this palette. I feel like I can do a really fun look if I want it to be colorful, but I can also quickly whip out a very nice neutral look. And I did take this with me to Sri Lanka when I went. I only have this palette and the Soft Glam palette. I wanted to test out the palettes while I was away just to see how much use I would get out of them. I actually ended up wearing less makeup than I anticipated in Sri Lanka, but that's okay. I still really like this palette and I was happy with my choice. I also really like the shade Electric, which was a really fun color to throw in the crease. So I, I can see myself wearing this palette. I like the bright mattes. I think they're a nice way to do a palette like this. I love having matte bright colors as well as bright shimmer shades because I think they pair well together and there's some really fun color combinations that you might not think about in this. I also think the palette wears well. I didn't really have too many problems blending any of these shadows or anything and the shimmer shades also foil very nicely on the lid. So overall I really like that about this palette. Now I did swatch this on a YouTube live video so I don't want to swatch it again. I, like I said, will link the playlist with BH Cosmetics. You'll be able to find the swatches on there. If you really, really want to see them, if you haven't seen swatches, I'm, I mean, I can't imagine you haven't, but anyway, that's where you'll find the swatches. And, you know, as always, I want to tell you, would I rebuy this palette? Heck yes. It is a really nice palette. It's really great, great quality, and I think it's a great price point. I love brands, affordable brands, that come out with good stuff. It makes me feel like you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for makeup, so that's great. I hope they don't turn into one of those brands that are pumping out palettes like every week, because that would be impossible to keep up with. I've already lost track with them, obviously, as the last palette I bought was the Aurora palette. Um, but yeah, I like it. I'm happy that BH Cosmetics is getting their shit together and they're providing great quality. I think that only benefits them and the consumer, which is a win-win in my book. So yeah, definitely check this out. I think this would be a, a great gift for somebody getting into makeup or even somebody that loves makeup is going to love this palette because it's super fun and super affordable, plus you can get an Ulta. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my two cents on the Weekend Festival palette. I'm sorry, I know this palette has been out forever. I honestly don't really care. I still wanted to make a review because I think it's a fabulous product. And if you guys want it, you should get it because I think it's a great addition to anyone's palette collection. Thank you guys for listening to me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.